Hi, folks. Uh, uh, if you remember, I uh, offered you all the opportunity to send me a case that was difficult uh, to get approved and you wanted to know why. Anyways, here's one that just came in and I thought it would be a good teaching tool for you. Hi, Paul. I was at one of your seminars about dental coding and reimbursement and got your email. You said that if we had any questions about a claim to send you the information and you could give us some advice. I enjoyed very much the seminar, by the way. learned a lot. I have a claim from United Concordia from uh, October of 2013 for a bridge. Uh, it, was, it is a 10-year-old bridge that broke off right on number 18. Patient had a previous root canal on the tooth prior to having the bridge, more than 10 years old. United Concordia has been requesting post-op x-rays of that tooth, and I sent them all the PAs we had showing the broken bridge, and also I just sent them a panel taken in 2010 by a previous dentist. Can you tell me what is the reason why this claim is being held back for so long? What can we do to avoid this? I'm attaching all the x-rays uh, we have and also a photo. Thank you very much. Hope to hear back from you soon. Well, here's the broken bridge. That's pretty obvious. The bridge is broken. And here's one of two x-rays they sent to me. Remember, this was a previous 10-year-old bridge with a previous endo. Okay, here's one x-ray, and here's the other x-ray. And I said to the young lady, Okay, now I'm going to put on my insurance consultant's hat and tell you I would deny you every single time. Why? Because for us or any insurance company, remember almost all of this is the employer paying it with the insurance company just overseeing the payments. We need, one, proof of loss, and two, fundamentally, is there any pathology? Well, guess what? I cannot see the apex of an, either one of these two x-rays, and that's all I'm looking for. If you're going to have a 10-year-old endo, you want a new bridge, you can't be sending old x-rays that don't show the apex. And I, she said, well, how am I going to get this paid? I said, at the end of the day, call a patient back in, take an x-ray showing the apex. There's a very good chance you'll get paid then. And she was obviously very thankful for my advice. Anyways, uh, you're going to see a lot more of this stuff as life goes on, plus I, was, as I send you these e emails. And also, don't forget, folks, my entire program is on uh, a thumb drive, and you'll see the advertisement for it. And also, don't forget Dr. Blair's book. But remember, I, now I'm offering my entire uh, program on the thumb drive and even a more intense uh, fraud piece. Thanks a lot. Speak to you again soon, folks. Bye-bye.